Hello, it's Kelly back with another process video and today I am using this co this beautiful Cocoa Vanilla Daydream collection again. I used it in my last video and I am in love with it still and I had, I don't know if you saw, but I over there to the side amongst the papers that I'm sorting through is a photo of my gorgeous daughter and her fiance and I am going to scrap that picture and I watched a video um Laura Alberts she did a video on fussy cutting and she inspired me to a fussy cut lots and lots of these uh florals and the rainbows and just some other little the little moths and that's what I've been doing during the week like I want to do something scrappy but I don't want to get everything out <laughs> to scrapbook a layout so I've just been uh, I like to listen to podcasts and watch I don't really watch tv but I'll listen to podcasts and stuff and while I am doing that, I've been fussy cutting and it's keeping my hands busy. It's keeping my mind, you know, relaxed. So it's very, very therapeutic. So I've really been enjoying it. And I will link her that video down below because, I mean, it was very informative and very well done. And it made me want to <laughs> fussy cut. So if you're like on it, it just saves so much money and it you know a lot of times you see a floral paper and you're like i don't know how to use that like i don't know what to do with this and some floral papers are just meant to be fussy cut and it gives you a whole lot of florals to play with for very little money i mean it does take time to fussy cut but it's totally worth it so, I, like I said, I will link her video below. I'm showing here, you here that I went and stitched these layers of uh, strips of paper. And um, I just, they, they kind of match my photo, but I'm really not going for matchy-matchy here. The wood grain, um, I felt, was really good for both a masculine and... A feminine page and I'm just kind of trapped kind of went by their shirt colors to choose my papers but I want all the colors all of them <laughs> this layout so and in the end I feel like it really came together pretty well so you don't have to be matchy-matchy to make a pretty layout I don't think so anyway um, I was talking about Laura Alberts and she showed the scissors that she used and things and of course she inspired me to go buy new fussy cutting scissors too so <laughs> um anyway i will link her video below because it's very it's very informative and inspiring so back to the photo so yeah um I'm using some of the pieces from the die cut pack and to uh, to embellish with. Um, I have my base down. I kind of know what I'm do what I want to do here. I'm going for like a vertical design down the one side of the page. So, and I'm using those frames just to kind of create my cluster base. And I'm going to pop this uh, photo up on some foam tape and I gave it a thin white mat because I wanted it to stand out and you'll see here like when I'm looking at this right now it looks so crooked but whenever I was scrapbooking I guess because I'm sitting down I couldn't tell how crooked <laughs> the picture was so you'll see here in a little while I after I've done so much layering that I had to, I just couldn't live with it. Like it wasn't okay with me that it was that, um, that crooked. So I, it was scary, but you'll see, I pulled up almost the entire 
<laughs> I thought I was going to mess up all my layering, but it ended up working out just fine. So, but I knew that I wouldn't be able to just live with it that crooked. It, I had to fix it one way or another. So now that I have my kind of my base down, now I'm starting to layer all these florals that I fussy cut. And that is just from one, the florals are from one single sheet of paper and look how much mileage I get out of these florals. I mean, I can make another two layouts just using the florals. So, because I had, I mean, I used a ton, but I still had so many left over. And I feel like I'm, I like using the die cuts from the die cut picks, but I feel like I had so much more control over how I place things because the way, I mean, I had a much more, I had a bigger selection to choose from. So it made my layering very easy. And as you can see, I went to town with the florals. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, this is my daughter and her fiance. They are soon to be engaged and uh, Joey will be part of our family. Um, yeah, I'm, ex I'm happy to have him as my son-in-law. He's been very good to my grandkids and I'm very thankful for that, so. You can't ask for more, right? As long as they're treating, as long as he's treating my daughter and my grandkids right, we get along just fine. <laughs> and I'm sure all you moms out there can relate. And so you see how much, how many more florals I have over there that I can use for another layout. I think mine, I mean, and I've always fussy cut a little bit, but like I'm addicted to it right now. Like I can just, I just want to keep cutting and cutting and, I, <laughs> and my, my hand is tired. And that one trick I was going to tell you that I've learned, I, I bought the little scissors that Laura Alberts, she recommended from Tim Holtz. They're like um, detail scissors. And I really like those, but I also still love my cutter bees just for the simple fact that I can switch out. Like when my hand starts getting tired of holding one pair of scissors, I find that if I switch to another pair that my grip feels like it doesn't hurt my hand as much. It's like wearing, you know, the same thing with wearing shoes, like you change shoes in the middle of the day and it, your feet feel a little better. So that's another trick. I always take an extra pair of shoes to work <laughs> just to just switch it up sometimes because my feet hurt because I'm on them all day long. But anyway, so I love this layerty look and I just couldn't stop layering. I wanted to get some of those gorgeous rainbows in there somehow and I managed to do that here so I got a couple on on this right the left side and then I wanted one over on the right side and I finally settled for right there but then when I put that there I thought well I need more florals underneath that to to give it more of a balance and you'll see here in the close-up that I kind of changed the arrangement right there and added more flowers. So that is my layout for today. And I uh, appreciate you watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.